CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.4, Given a Scenario, Troubleshoot Common Mobile OS and Application Issues. Troubleshooting issues on a mobile OS can feel a bit different from dealing with Windows or other PC operating systems, but there are a lot of similarities. In both cases, you're playing detective, identifying symptoms, ruling out possible causes, and applying fixes one step at a time. Just like in Windows, where you might check for updates, look at system resources, or reboot your device as part of routine troubleshooting, mobile troubleshooting follows a similar path. Now, let's break down some common mobile OS issues and discuss appropriate troubleshooting steps to get things back on track. To begin, one common mobile OS issue is when an application fails to launch. Sometimes, no matter how many times you tap on an app, it just won't open. If this happens to you, first try to launch it again. Then if it still doesn't cooperate, a quick reboot of the device can often resolve the issue. Is it still not launching? Then escalate to clearing the application's cache file or as a final step, reinstall the application altogether. Another frequent issue is when an application fails to close or crashes unexpectedly. Often, a failure to close can be resolved by utilizing the force stop option that is available through the app settings. This force stop option completely shuts down the app and will clear any temporary glitches. As for crashes, these can occur if the app's temporary storage or cache becomes cluttered with old data. Clearing the application cache or storage usually resolves these issues as it removes unnecessary data that may be causing the app to misbehave. After clearing the cache, check if there's an available update for the app, as updates frequently address crash-related bugs. If the problem persists, a device reboot may clear out any residual issues. As a last resort, try reinstalling the app, or, if multiple apps are crashing, perform a factory reset, which restores the device to its original factory settings. Occasionally, you may encounter a situation where an application refuses to update. Typically, this happens because the device is running low on storage, leaving no room for the update. Clearing out unused apps or files to free up storage often solves the problem. If storage isn't the issue and updates still fail to load, try a quick reboot to reset the update process. If all else fails, uninstalling and reinstalling the app would be an appropriate next step. Next, updating your device's OS, just like updating apps, can also lead to update failures. To address OS update failures, start by taking a look at available storage space, as devices will need extra room to install update files. Another factor is compatibility. You will often find that older devices may not support the latest OS version, requiring users to stick with the current version. It's also important to connect the device to a stable power source during an update, as a power interruption can disrupt the update process. If the update still won't install after performing these steps, try rebooting the device. And as a last resort, back up your data and perform a factory reset. This will restore the device to its original factory settings, providing a clean slate for the OS update. Another common complaint is when mobile devices become slow to respond. This can often be due to too many background processes running at once. Responsiveness can be improved and resources can be reclaimed by closing unnecessary apps or performing a reboot. Sometimes, the slowdown can be due to overheating or a low battery, as devices may throttle performance to conserve power or prevent damage from heat. Additionally, malware can impact the device's speed. This can be checked by performing a malware scan with a trusted security app. If none of these steps resolve the slowdown, a factory reset may provide a fresh start. If battery life is an issue, there are a few adjustments that can help. Closing background applications not only frees up processing power, but also conserves battery life. Reducing screen brightness and shortening screen timeout settings can also make a big difference in extending battery life. In cases where battery issues remain even after these changes, a replacement battery may be necessary, especially if the device is older. Sometimes devices experience random reboots, which can be alarming and are often tied to hardware issues. Overheating, low battery charge, or a faulty battery can cause sudden reboots. If you suspect overheating, remove any protective case to improve airflow and give the device time to cool down. 
If the battery is older and known to have issues, a replacement could solve the problem. In some cases, faulty hardware beyond the battery could be the cause. If all of these suggested fixes have yet to help, a factory reset could once again come to the rescue. When it comes to connectivity issues, each type of connection has its own quirks. Whether you're dealing with weak Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth dropouts, or trouble completing an NFC payment, a few simple steps can often get things back on track. If you're noticing intermittent connectivity, start by checking for weak signals or signal interference. Moving closer to the router or signal source can help. Also, double-check your network configuration settings. If you have saved networks or custom settings, resetting them may improve stability. For Wi-Fi, the frequency band can also affect connection quality. Many routers and devices support two bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. The 2.4 GHz band offers a longer range, which is helpful for larger areas, but may be slower if there's interference. Meanwhile, 5 GHz provides faster speeds with a shorter range, making it ideal for smaller spaces. Switching bands based on your location can improve signal strength and stability. With Bluetooth, the quickest fix is often turning Bluetooth off and back on. If that doesn't work, try forgetting the device within the Bluetooth settings, then pair the device again. This resets the connection and often resolves lingering issues. For NFC, which is predominantly used for payment processing, start by ensuring your payment app is up to date, as updates often resolve bugs. Make sure the device is properly aligned with the payment terminal, as misalignment can interfere with transactions. Also, make sure NFC is enabled as it is often disabled by default. Finally, if connectivity issues persist, double-check that airplane mode is off. When airplane mode is enabled, it disables all wireless connections, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular data, and NFC, all at once. One feature, unique to Apple devices, is AirDrop. This feature lets you quickly and securely share files, photos, and other content with other nearby Apple devices. Think of it as a way to wirelessly move, or drop, files from one device to another without needing an internet connection. While AirDrop is unique to Apple devices, it is not without its own set of issues. If AirDrop isn't working, start by ensuring it's enabled. You can set AirDrop to reject all transfers, except transfers from contacts only, where only people saved in your contacts can send you files, or allow transfers from everyone. If AirDrop is set to contacts only, make sure the sender is saved in your device's contact list, and that both devices are signed into iCloud. If AirDrop still won't connect, try toggling AirDrop off and on or restarting both devices to reset the connection. Another common feature-related issue is when the screen doesn't auto-rotate. Auto-rotation allows the screen to adjust its orientation as you turn the device from portrait to landscape. This function relies on built-in sensors like the accelerometer and gyroscope to detect the device's position. If the screen won't rotate, start by checking that auto-rotate is enabled, then consider a sensor recalibration. If the screen still won't rotate after calibration, a quick reboot can help refresh the sensors. In rare cases, if auto-rotation remains unresponsive, a factory reset might be necessary to restore full functionality. And there you have it. Troubleshooting mobile OS issues doesn't have to be a mystery. With these steps, you'll be prepared to handle common problems like application crashes, connectivity issues, and more. Remember, while each issue may have varied troubleshooting steps, a quick reboot can often work wonders. And if all else fails, a factory reset can give your mobile device a fresh start. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.